But last topic of the day, we do have the new numbers for the week. Hot 100 for the week. Jack Harlow, loving on me, is number one in the country. That's racist, by the way. Why the fuck is this song number one in the country? Because it's about chains. This is crazy. I don't, I don't want no whips and chains, man. You can't hold me down, but you can keep your loving on me, baby. That's just catchy, bro. You can't. Care. It's a catchy song, Marlon. But yeah. I do not think it's amongst Jack Harlow's best songs. I don't think it's one of the best songs this year. I think that's not even better than any of the songs listed. I'll listen to Crew Summer, Paint the Town Red. Don't worry about it, cause that Mariah Carey is gonna take it next week. Oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mariah Carey's gonna take that shit next week. Yeah, that's gonna be soon. But I'm so shocked. There's a white nigga. South Dakota whipping a cow while that song plays. I'm about, but seriously, <coughs> yo, Vic, white people love Jack Harlow. Yeah. They go to war for that nigga, bro. He's a good person. He's man. their new Michael Jackson. I get yeah. it. I, I get think it. It's the same Taylor Swift shit, bro. I agree with you. There's a bunch of songs here that deserve it. I still think Snooze should be number one or Doja. I'm shocked. I'm just shocked. I'm not going to lie. I was like, love it on me. Like, you didn't think it was going to hit like this. I didn't think it was going to be top 10 in the country. Let alone number one. White people play this shit, bro. Bro, this is crazy. Like, but I think it's also a show of like, if well, you look at it, how bad hip hop's in. Yes. If we look at the top ten songs right now in the in, country, in reality, my girl Tyler needs to be up there. Yeah, it's probably gonna come up after this week. Yeah. Um, the only two rap songs on the Billboard top ten songs in the country are Doja Cat, "Paint the Town Red," and Jack Harlow, "Loving on Me." This is the most pop making rappers. I said it before. Jack Harlow, I think he makes like some of the best pop rap in the history of rap. He's the best pop rapper. You think he's better than Drake at it? No. No. But I feel like Drake veers a line of like, Drake is going to give you some pop rap. But unfortunately, we are going to get some lines where Drake is like, still in this pop rap song, hit song, he's going to remind you, he's going to pay some shooters to kill someone. Bro, Jack Harlow's Harlow, not doing none of that. Harlow Jack Harlow's so pipe that he's not so pipe. My ball. My ball. Whoa. What? My bad. My bad. Um, he's Whoa. so uh, <laughs> so pop that is like he his every his content is like clean is clean. The only dirty shit here is the hook, and it's not even him; it's the sample. I don't want no whips and chains. And it's like a white man, a white rapper, and the hook is about whips and chains. Like I get it, like it's a sample, clever. Oh, now I see what you racist niggas. Is but doing. it's kind of fucking weird. And I love Jack Harlow. I'm friends with Jack Harlow's um, team, his producer, shots his producer. I'm, I love them. They're pretty cool people. I, they're really amazing, talented people. But I'm, I just think it's like a bit odd. Like, what the fuck? This song, number one. Maybe I don't understand radio. Maybe it's a radio thing. You know? It's a radio thing. You know? Or how Russ right. has said, maybe niggas is buying streams, buying, view, buying numbers. I don't think Jack Harlow would. But it's odd. It may be just a sign of the times where music is so, so, so like sucking right now that one this of... This is a hit? Yeah, this is a hit song. That's probably what it is. The Jack Harlow fans are going to call us haters. But I agree. I don't think this is good at all. I actually didn't like the song at all. I thought it was very mediocre. I thought it was a little racist too, the whips and chains thing. But it was funny because he was playing on it because he's white. And it's like, oh, I'm saying whips and chains. But like that's only acceptable because of the culture we live in right now. And Jack Harlow, in my opinion, had one of the best rap song, rap albums this year with his album that he dropped. But then none of those songs were his songs because it, that wasn't the intention. He wanted to get back in his rapping bag. I loved it. But then we have his biggest song this year being, I don't want no whips and chains, man. You can't tie me down. Song, if you think about it, a parody song. A parody yeah. song. And then paint, paint the Town Red, which is ironic. That is the other one because if you actually get like the story behind it, in the song, she's talking about how it's fuck all you niggas. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. It was a reaction song. Yeah, a reaction. Hating on the fandoms and like yeah. the idea of fame. And it actually becomes famous. Which I don't get either because it's definitely it's not one of my favorite songs on that album. It's not one of the best songs on the album. And it's still so high. It must be like a TikTok trend that I'm just missing out on. I'm surprised the, the Hills one isn't up there. Yeah, Agora yeah, Hills. That song. That's my God. Bad. You know what's funny? Someone sent me a video about this. Someone broke this down. I got to send that shit to you niggas. I guess rappers are in the studio now sequencing songs at a certain point so it plays perfectly on TikTok. And I think that's what's happening here. Those are TikTok songs. Easily. I think Because I think TikTok songs are now counted on Billboard. Yeah. So if it is, we have a very nasty problem now. Yeah. 
Cause that means they're all gonna start sequencing their songs to <laughs> me. <meet. laughs> this nigga's <laughs> sneaky, nigga. This nigga's nasty. This nigga's nice at it. I'm though. here sitting here trying to hold in every fart and shit I gotta take, <laughs> and you just letting them off over there. That's why I don't fuck with niggas, bro. <laughs> nah, this nigga's a bad So he's person. talking about he likes to be vulnerable, but he won't fart. The, yo, because why the fuck am I gonna fuck everything else for us, bro? You want it to? You want to smell that? <laughs> you don't have my shit to be smelling. I'll clear out the room. That's that friend's giving um. You're a good person, bro. Digestion. <laughs> I'm a good person. But yeah, bro, if they're really using TikTok streams to get to number one and they're sequencing their songs, for what it is. I believe it. I believe it 100%. That's yeah. sick. It's TikTok songs going number one on the uh, man. And it's like, it's a sign of the times, man. Um, But. Hip hop sucks this year. Congratulations to Jack Harlow. I'm Terrible. not gonna, I'm not gonna like, you know, I do think it's a huge achievement to get, to get another number one song. Someone that came out and people thought he was gonna be a number uh uh a one hit wonder. Jack Harlow has had so many hits at this point, and he's like three albums in. His career's very young, very early. Um, he's only starting, so it's gonna be it's interesting. But wait, so can I ask you something? Yeah. Can we do the most underwhelming albums of the year at the end of the year? Yeah. Versus the best. Hundred percent. I would love that. Just I'm, I gotta albums. start making my list soon because December's next week. No. Yeah, I gotta start making my list soon. Cause when y'all, cause nothing else is really dropping in December. I can't give you. Nikki would be the I only person. Nikki is dropping. You, I cannot give you a top ten. No, I can give you a top ten worst. We could say top five, most do top whatever, top whatever, top three, whatever we come up with. But because under Nikki's I mean, next like, month, right? You yeah. and yeah, it's next month. I mean, like you anticipated, and it was not what you thought it'd be. Like it was bad. But Nikki's has to be some crazy shit. If Nikki's is not some crazy shit, hip hop is fucked. I'm let you know right now. That's my last. Hope I think right it's gonna now. be because Nikki has a pink wig. She's not gonna wear the pink wig. Pink wig Nikki is not gonna be back for no reason. She only brings that out for a specific reason. She's gonna go hard, maybe play into her actual uh, what's it called role playing where she plays into the Romans revenge. Nikki, she does the voices. That's what that's what that's peak Nikki for me. I agree. They gonna love me for my ambition. 